Hello, and welcome to the review of the new Century Tarot. Here is the back of the cards, and as you can tell already, these are a bit larger than normal cards. Here is the major arcana. Um, first thing I have to say, I love the artwork on these cards, they're all awesome. It's just a mystifying way. They're done at tar- um, well, it's one of those, as I call it, in between a Water of the Weight style and Terra Marcillo style. Because when you get to the major arcana, minor arcana, yeah, you know what I mean. Images, but respective number. But I just love all these cards. Um, they were actually the first tarot deck I actually ever possessed. And, uh, granted I got from a friend of mine. Well, he didn't really use it, so I don't mind. But either way, it was my first impression of tarot. I got it actually out of a kit, is where he got the deck from. It was a kit from Barnes & Noble. Well, the, so the cards look different. So I didn't have the actual deck. I had the images on a different bordering, which many people didn't like, but I actually just like the cards themselves. Granted, I wouldn't say I them for beginners, because the meanings are kind of difficult to understand. See, um, they're not best for new readers, but otherwise, I would suggest them for anyone else. Um, adept readers, experienced, you name it, they're just really, really neat. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just the artwork and the way they're done and just the interesting flow of, like, you see different fabrics it looks like flying around. It's just, I, I don't I don't know how to explain it. I just, um, I find it one of the most neat decks I've actually seen when it comes to artwork. I've seen some with pretty good artwork. And this is one of the best, and I love the artwork of every one of the cards. It's just flawless. Um... Here we are to the Minor Arcana and the Wands. Um, as I said, in between Water Weight Style and Hermosilis, respective number of whatever's there, and usually something to portray its meaning. Well, uh, how do I put this? In these cards, I don't know exactly how to say, but I don't know. Like, you two see, they all have like a piece of cloth behind them. Go ahead. If you first see this deck, because this is the only tarot card deck I first ever saw, and then I saw other decks, it can be misleading. But it is just a very intriguing way of how the creator did this. I do not know his last name, but I do know his first name is Rolf. And you can actually get this tarot deck from US Games Incorporated, is the main place I know where they obtain it. I actually just recently ordered the deck again for myself because I had. The first copy I actually had was taken from me. You know, religious people, all that. So I just ordered a new deck. I ordered this copy, though. That way I get the bigger cards. But either way, it's really cool. Um, and as you see, we are actually about to enter the next suit. So here we go. Here are the cups. Um, what more can I say? Um, it's just a fantasy view of all these cards. I mean... They're just so intoxicating. I mean, I, when I first got the deck, I honestly didn't know its name, but I just knew it was awesome. And I, I, I honestly would like to still have this deck, and that's why I'm getting it again, because it's just, I just created such a bond with the way they are. I mean, many people might not like them, just based on... Well, the minor arcana, some people don't like. I honestly like more wider rate style myself and through the years, but I've grown accustomed to this one. Not only that, I like the fact that strength becomes before justice, which is a common thing I like. Most Some people like justice before strength, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But, um, I don't know what else I can say on this, that one, but anyway... Since we were at the King of Cups, we're also about to enter the Swords. Um, what else can I put in? Um, well, these images, since I don't have the cards themselves, um, so I couldn't scan them to the computer. The images, actually, I got from tarot.com, where they've got a lot of scan decks there, and I saved the pictures off. But, I, and I use them for these videos. Um... Let's see. Oh, 
one thing I might add, some of the, like, if you're used to water weight style, and you look at these cards, some of the minor arcana might have different meanings. Like, for example, two of swords, as you saw, the way it looks, looks like a separation. Well, in most decks, it's not a separation. Sometimes it's an even amount of strength, and it's just different. So in this one, you might want to remember, some of the minor arcana have different meaning. Um... Like, but one of the things that is very common in just about every deck, the Two of Cups, it's, yeah, you saw its meaning is just always the same, really. Um, let's see here. Well, entering, about to enter the Pentacles, because, well, he is the King of Swords, so, therefore, the Pentacles. Um, Pentacles in this deck are, well, circles of some plant in them. I'm honestly not sure the plant, but... Many, many different decks of tarot will have what they call pentacles, but then they're just a circle with some other symbol in there. It's just so they keep the classic suit. Um, I like this deck also because of the fact it has the four classic names of the suits. The wands won't change the staffs or scepters, and the swords aren't sabers or anything, and the cups aren't chalices, and the pentacles are pentacles. Granted, they can be changed names. I mean, it was actually the companion book with this in the... Um, thing I got, Tarot for Beginners, in the name of the book, that told me, it was the first one that told me that the Hierophant could actually go by the Pope, and thus me learning that the suits and things could actually have different names. I was unaware of that for the longest time. But, um, let's see. I don't know what else. Um, just, these are really neat cards. I highly recommend them. And they are just... Very vibrant, radiant, I just honestly love them. They get a two thumbs up, amazing grade. Anyway, um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching my view of the new Century Tarot, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.